Many years ago, um, we, we started doing this part that we're talking about now, this people reading, and understanding who you are sitting across from you. And then it hit me, and I think the O.J. Simpson trial is what hit, made, made it hit, hit for me, and that is there is a group of folks out there, I never heard of it until the trial, maybe you didn't either, is our jury consultant. And if you've ever seen the movie Runaway Jury, if you haven't seen it, rent it, pretty good movie, uh, but in the end, you know, in the, in the parts on the back of the CD, the extra things, there's actually a jury consultant who talks about this that uh, we had been talking about it for years until we saw that movie. It just kind of validated what our thoughts were. And that is that there are folks out there who read people and begin to determine what their styles are. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you are a defense attorney. So you're defending this, this alleged criminal, and, and the smoking gun exists, okay? So this person has been caught on video committing armed robbery at the 7-Eleven, all right? And the video exists, uh, and you're defending this person. The styles you want on your, on your jury there are like a high C style because you're defending this person. That, the, the high C is gonna wanna look at the details. They're gonna wanna make sure they review that tape thoroughly. You may also want a high eye style because a high eye what may think with their heart over their mind. So you may be able to introduce evidence about the challenging youth of this person or that you know, they needed to feed their family or, or something like that, extenuating circumstances that the high eye might resonate with. Well, if you're the prosecution in this same trial, you might want high D's on your jury. You know, deliberate, deliberate. He's guilty. We have it on video. Let's go. So, attorneys want different styles in order to determine how they argue their case. So it's different in different states. But as you go through some things, go through the jury system. You know, the, the attorneys will ask questions. And again, there's only jury consultants on, you know, big cases. This isn't for traffic tickets. But you know, they'll call people in and they'll ask a question. So what we begin to try to determine is we want to read body language, we want to read tone of words or tone of voice and the words that we use. So for example, if you are a jury consultant and you ask somebody a question, if found guilty, would you be able to sentence this person to death? And somebody says, absolutely. That tells you one thing. If somebody pushes back in their chair, lowers their eyes, and says, ah, absolutely. That tells you something else. Same word, but it was the tone. It was the inflection. It was the body language. You, you know, the jury consultant will, or the attorney will get into the juror's face and say, would you be able to sentence this person to death? And the juror looks up and looks him right in the eye and says, absolutely. Well, that says one thing versus pulling it back and ah, absolutely. Two different things which by the way, I always get a kick out of watching television shows because when you notice they ask the stenographer to read it back, the stenographer never comes back like it says absolutely. It comes back as if it said absolutely. So I find that to be fascinating. What we're talking about is getting some of these skills that jury consultants have to begin meeting someone and reading their body language, their tone, and the words they use so that we can adapt our message accordingly.